welcome back to Adrian's Chemistry Laboratory, where we're going to continue our series of experiments on how sulfur reacts with metals. And today we're going to react sulfur with the metal copper. And I have here in front of me uh, a lovely book. It's 1922 by E.J. Holmerd. He was the um, research student at Sydney Sussex College in Cambridge and then became Master of Science at Marlborough College. And in this book, he's got a lovely picture of Sir Walter Ramsey in his laboratory, uh, who discovered so many of the inert gases. But when I was reading uh, up about sulphur, it was most interesting that the actual word sulphur uh, was a, possibly a Hindu word. And the Latinized version of it, sulvari, means enemy of copper. And of course, around the Mediterranean, the Romans would have been very um, accustomed to seeing sulphur around volcanic areas around the Mediterranean and obviously when it re was reacted with copper it destroyed it. So we're going to see what happens whenever we react sulphur with copper here in the fume cupboards. And simply I've got a lovely long boiling tube uh, and we're going to add a nice piece of shiny copper foil to it and we're going to heat the copper up and then begin to heat the sulphur up and allow the sulphur vapour to pass over the copper and hopefully we'll get a very interesting reaction. So if my assistant follows me over to the fume cupboard, I'll just put this tube in here and then we're going to put the Bonson flame to heat up the copper and then we're going to heat the sulphur vapour and allow that to pass over the hot copper. We begin to see a little bit of change in the copper tarnishing, possibly due to oxidation. So we're just going to now start heating up the sulfur. And if we're lucky here, we may get some incandescence. I'm going to turn off the lights in the fume cupboard just so you may see that. There we go. See how the copper there is in a lovely red heat as the sulfur combines. With the, with the warm copper, and just continue that reaction along. You can see already that the surface of the copper has a lovely black crystalline form to it. Just boiling the sulfur there, see the sulfur vapor? There it is, beginning to react with the copper. I'm trying to do these uh, videos in nice short and sweet, so just under five minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in the style of Blue Peter something I did earlier. This is a piece of copper that was just heated up in exactly the same form, which is nice and cool for me to handle. And you can see the beautiful crystalline form of the copper sulphide. So we'll be able to put that into a bottle and keep it and use it for maybe other experiments in the future. So thank you for watching, please like and subscribe.